I'm back into the uh, high feature 3.6 VVT motor on the Acadia again. I uh, needed to replace a cam phaser. I was hoping I was going to be able to do it with the timing cover on uh, after I got it off. Found out that it had a stuck uh, timing chain tensioner that was causing slack in the, uh, in the left bank. So, wound up having to pull the timing chain cover for that. But while I was thinking my way through this, because sometimes I got to stop and take time to process stuff, really think it through before I can carry on with it, uh, I thought I was going to be able to replace it with a timing chain cover on. Having, uh, if I had the, uh, the special tool that they make for just that purpose. So I went ahead, bought the time and chain retaining tools, what they're calling them. They're, uh, uh, they don't have the part number on these. I believe the part number is EN48313. And it's a timing chain tensioner specifically for this 3.6 uh, variable timing motor just for doing the, the two secondary uh, timing chains. Holding them in place so you can remove one or both of the cam phasers without removing the timing cover. So I decided I'd show you a little video of how it's supposed to work with the timing cover removed. That way it gives you a little bit better idea if you're trying to do it with the timing cover still in place. So here we are on the passenger side, time and chain side of the uh, the motor in the Acadia here. Uh, if you're lucky enough, you'll never have to see this thing. But unlike me, I've been in here twice so far. So these are your cam phasers. Sometimes they go bad. You got to replace them. The timing chain cover covers just up to the bottom of this bolt here so when you remove the valve covers you expose this half of the uh, phaser in the timing chain and that's just barely enough room providing you get enough stuff out of the way your uh, cam sensors and whatnot that you can pull the phaser off and replace it but in order to do that you need to have some slack in the chain and you have tensioners down in here that are keeping tension on the chain, obviously. So they make this tool to take up the tension in the chain and give you a little bit of slack. Now, these two marks here are your approximate location when you install it to the uh, top of this uh top of your head, top of this block that holds the uh, front cam bearings on. So when you install it, you're going to want that top of that piece of aluminum to fall within there approximately. Now you're not going to be able to see all this with the timing chain cover still installed, but while it's removed, I thought I'd give you an idea how, how your tool here is supposed to be installed. It goes in behind the timing chain, behind these sprockets. You kind of got a twister in to get it in there. And then you'll get your marks here approximately in the location of the top of the head. And you'll start twisting and it'll expand. Now this one's a little trickier because you got to get one of these legs in behind this chain guide and in there to engage the engage the chain and so it takes a little bit of jostling around and stuff to get her in there to engage the chain and then once it's in there that should lock your timing chain in place 
so it doesn't come off your idler sprocket. Here's a little up close of it installed. You can see how it's uh, engaging the timing chain over there. Kind of hard to see on this side because that guide wraps around it. But uh, what I found on this side here is, uh, if I can get the camera steady for a second, this casting right here gets in the way. So you want to kind of get this deep, you know, towards the, towards the top mark on the shank of the tool there. So it misses that casting. Otherwise that leg wants to open up against that casting and it won't actually engage the timing chain there. So once that's installed and tightened up, take your wrench on your hexes of your camshaft and twist them towards each other and that'll give you a little bit of play in the timing chain enough so that you can take the cam phasers off. This is the problem I'm dealing with right now. This was installed uh, 10, 12,000 miles ago and for some reason it's staying in the collapsed state. So something went wrong with it that it is not holding tension anymore. It's just staying collapsed like that. There's how it should have been installed in there to hold tension. I've got no idea why it got stuck like that, but it did, and I believe that it actually caused the cam to jump a tooth or so. As you can see, I got the Acadia back together finally. I uh, wound up replacing all the chain tensioners in it while I was in there. Um, more or less had to go through the whole process of uh, retiming the motor, same process you would go through if you're installing, installing brand new chains or the doing the whole timing chain kit and uh yeah it was, it was a nightmare so i did it all in the vehicle because i don't have any access to a lift or anything like that and uh it's not definitely not fun i'm really starting to dislike this car a lot uh it seems like every time we drive it it's got some new issue that's starting to crop up uh, and it has 185,000 miles on it and it's only 10 years old. I don't know. I'm not super thrilled with the thing anymore. And it seems like every project is a large project. It, everything is super time consuming to do on this. So, anyway, so far, starts up, it runs. Still has five permanent codes. Uh, from what I've been seeing, it says it's going to take probably 15 run cycles and around 200 miles of actual driving to clear those permanent codes out of the system and get my check engine light to turn off. And uh, I guess it's it's doing as, as good as I can expect it right now. So let's keep hoping I don't have to get into it again anymore because I'm kind of getting tired of it. Anyway, hope you have better luck with yours. If you do run into the same issues I do, hopefully my videos help you out a little bit. I'm just you know some guy trying to do this in his old in his own garage i don't really have any background in the stuff at all just trying to save a dollar and and mostly then the shops that i talked to they didn't even want to touch this job it was just they say it's more time and effort than what it's really worth so yeah i i i could see that but anyway hopefully you like it like and subscribe Whichever, don't like and subscribe, I don't care, whatever you want to do. Have a good day.